This is the 2020 Canyon Aeroad CFSLX disc of Team Movistar. And in particular, this is the bike of Jurgen Rolands. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it, show you all the key details and all the different components that are on it. But before I do, if you like our content, please give it a like and also consider giving us a follow on social. Now there's some big news on this bike, and that is that for 2020 season, Movistar is now sponsored by SRAM. And this is big news because since pretty much forever, Movistar, and in its previous carnation, Bonesto, has been sponsored by Campagnolo. So out with Campagnolo, in with SRAM, and also disc brakes. Movistar has a reputation of being quite a traditionalist team, and they've been one of the, the teams that stuck with rim brakes uh, for the past few seasons, but now with SRAM, they're on discs. So this is the Canyon Aeroad CF SLS disc. We've got one 60 mil rotor at the front and a 140 at the back. And being a SRAM sponsored team, they're now using SRAM's latest and greatest group set, SRAM Red Access with its 12 speed cassette at the back. We've got the standard 5037 chain rings on there. Although I have seen other SRAM sponsored teams, Trek Segafredo, using a bigger chain set. So it'll be interesting to see if Movistar adopt that or have that available as well. On the back, we've got the 1027 uh, cassette there, but there's also the 1033 available if they want it. Also on the rather attractive SRAM Access chain set, you've got the Quark power meter that's built into there, which is rather nice. And then on the end of the crank arms, we've got Look Keo 2 Max pedals. Look pedals have been a long time sponsor of the Movistar team. Now something that really stood out to me as soon as I saw this bike, apart from the group set change, was these wheels. So being sponsored by SRAM, this team's also sponsored by Zip Wheels. And these are Zip 303s, but they've got these new logos on. I've never seen these before. And they're definitely a radical departure from the previous Zip logos that we're used to. But I want to know what you guys think. So I think we'll put a link down to a poll in the app and you can vote, hot or not, what do you think? The new Zip logos, better or nicer than the old ones? Onto the Zip 303s, we've got Continental Pro Limited Tubulars. Now, the Continental Pro Limited Tubulars have been around for ages. Obviously, they're the special Continental tyres with the latex inner tubes only available to the pros. But they've actually updated these. So they were, they were updated for last year's Tour de France. And although they look the same, they actually are made from a new compound that's said to be improved over the previous one. Onto the, the cockpit area of Jürgen's bike, and you've got the new SRAM HRD shifters. So that's quite a radical departure in terms of shape change from the uh, Campag ones that would have been on there before. But it does mean you now get these rather nice blip shifters, which he's taking full advantage of. He's got those under his tops, so he can change gear on the tops and when he's holding onto the shifters. Now the cockpit itself is Canyon's integrated one-piece aero cockpit, bar and stem, and he's using a 120 millimeter stem length, the same as me, uh, but the bar, let, bar width is wider, so it's a 410 uh, millimeter width handlebar. You've got the nice integrated mount at the front for his Garmin, and also they've got this brilliant uh, lizard skins bar tape which is the perfect color it must have been done custom for them to perfectly match the mobby star blue and i just love the finishing tape on this lizard skins uh, bar tape it's so neat and tidy and it's got these really cool little white mobby star logos on it it's really nice one of the things that I'm really interested to see is that now the Movistar bikes have disc brakes, are they significantly heavier than they were with rim brakes before? So, I've got the scales of truth, I'm gonna weigh it. And if you're wondering what the size is, well, it's a size medium, and Jürgen Rowlands is 185 centimeters tall, the same as me. I also ride a, a medium canyon as well. And his uh, crank length is 172.5. Now I think all that leaves is for me to do the free hub sound check. I know you've all been dying for me to do the free hub sound check, especially on these nice Zip 303 NSWs. Right. Oh, 
Very nice and smooth, that. Very nice and smooth. The Cognition hub set never disappoints. The Movistar mechanics are absolute legends. They've sorted me out with a coffee from the team bus because it's so cold here today. They're really nice guys. And a couple of little mechanic details, speaking of mechanics on this bike, you might notice a little bit of grip tape on the front fork blade there. Reason for that, that's where the transponder goes, the race transponder that does all the official timing. So it's a bit there just to help keep it in place and also protect the frame. And another little mechanic detail, they've marked the seat post pin here with a bit of blue uh, pen so that they can clearly get it precisely right for Jürgen's chosen seat height. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Jürgen Rowland's beautiful Aerode CF SLX. And if you have, then please give us a like, and consider following us. But is this a nice pro bike or a super nice pro bike? Well, if you want to have your say, you can vote in the app. And uh, I'm going to go and get warm and dry somewhere now because I'm absolutely freezing. <laughs> this weather is terrible. Right. Oh.